This is a momentous moment. This is the very first Transformer to ever be on this channel. And why is it here? Because the toy shop got it in trade and it's missing something. He just isn't standing up to where he need, needs to be. He's, he's got some dysfunction that I need to be able to fix. He's missing his horns. And these horns are really hard to find on a fairly new toy. Plus, the ones that come with its stock are less than desirable. Don't measure up, if you will. And there are some available on the aftermarket, but they're quite expensive. So I was asked if I could make the horns. Well, this is a simple extrude in Fusion 360. You make a circle, you make a couple lines, a squiggly one that kind of looks like a triceratops horn. Then you straighten it out a little bit. And it's time for a sweep. You select the bottom, you select the top, and then you go in and you change this taper angle and you can make a little point on it. See, there you go. Hey, look, a horn. Uh, then in 3D space, you can modify that spline and make it look more and more like a horn and give it a compound curve. So here I'm just playing with some different things and, ooh, look, a horn. Now I had gotten the measurements of the interaction or where it goes on the Triceratops, but I was going to need to print some samples to see how it looked. So here I'm just messing in 3D space, trying to get some more compound curves and make it look a little more organic and less robotic, which seems odd because it's a transformer. So here's some first samples. Well, that's horrible. I'll get rid of that one. Good Lord. Uh, here's another one. Um, yeah, that's upside down, Dingus. There you go. He can be taught. That's not bad, but I think the point should point more pointy. Yeah. And what do we got here? Oh, that's awful. That's just, it looks like a bumper for a horn. Yeah, that's thumbs down. That's, that's, wow, that's awful. Do we have another one? I even forgot how many I made. Ooh, that's not bad. Need to expand that. It's kind of a devil dinosaur. Oh, you you've got it on the wrong side. Yeah, I, it, what's with the finger wave? Y yes, we want it to go out farther. What what are you doing? All right, back to the drawing board. Literally, figuratively. Anyway, for those of you that know Th Fusion 360, you can tell that I'm cheating because I've already modeled this, and I'm simply going through the steps and showing the different things I did to it. This is the one I call the Mega Roundy thingy. And then here is one I kind of made more like a devil horn. So I made a devil horn version and kind of a rounded one that looks kind of like some on the aftermarket and resembles the one from the toy. While I was at it, even though he didn't ask, I went on to Thingiverse and I found some other upgrades like the feet to make them look more chonky because those look a little... Weird. Now you can't transform them with them on there, but it's a simple print. I hit them with some spray paint that matched pretty close, and it looks pretty cool. So that's awesome. This is actually the Studio Series Dinobot Slug or Slag. And these are little feet that, again, I found on Thingiverse that no one will ever know, but it makes his robot feet look like they have treads, which is kind of fun. And they just kind of snap in there, just kind of a press fit. Er, snap. So satisfying. Look at that. This is a really long clip for two things that aren't even part of the video. Oh well. If you've made it this far, you might find this enjoyable. He's got a gun for a tail. He shoots stuff out of his tail. Here is Devil Dinosaur. Wait, that's Marvel. Look at that. He's very whore excited. Not going to do that one. So I like these ones. They're pretty cool. But in the end, as I sat there with them for a while, I, I decided against them. I went ahead and gave them to them. And these are the ones we went with. They're very similar to something you can find on the aftermarket. They kind of resemble what the toy came with, except they're, they're solid. 
they're selling these horns on the internet for like 50 bucks so i'm just gonna go ahead and put these models out on thingiverse and you you guys can go nuts uh, you can print them you will need a little bit of support you will have to clean them up a bit and then some paint so again here's the devil horns which is an option you can see i actually cleaned those up in the end there was some boogers on the print i ended up printing them in white and painting them and then here's the more toyetic ones if you've watched the toys that make us you know what i'm talking about and they work pretty well here he is in robot form i ended up making a sword for him as well uh put that link down below again found that on thingiverse uh, i printed that about 80 percent for it to fit right uh, the horns turned out really well and actually uh, this uh, sold really fast after he got it back to the toy show or toy shop and uh, hopefully you guys you have some fun with the model and we'll see you next time thanks i went the whole thing without saying horny awesome